Hi, I'm Jessica Ballinger and welcome to my extremely honest house tour. I wanted to do a house tour for you guys and I've, I've wanted to do this forever, like since we moved into this home two and a half years ago. I love this house. I am extremely grateful for it. It is in California and actually fits our large family, which I never thought we would have. We have lived in rental homes. We owned a mobile home at one point and had three kids in a two bedroom mobile home. We've lived in lots of different places. <laughs> and this is by far a home that I never could have dreamed that we would own someday. So I am so grateful for this house. Um, but I wanted to show it to you like very honestly because I feel like I'm looking through like these Instagram perfect homes all the time and I see like uh, YouTubers doing these incredible house tours and I'm looking at it going like what's wrong with me like why can't my house look that nice and seriously this is the most amazing home that I could never have dreamed of owning, better than anywhere else that I've ever lived, and I still am having this like wish for something else. I don't know if you guys feel that too, but I think I just am so inundated with these perfect, perfect homes and perfect images that, yeah, I still dream to have someday. Like, there's an element that I'm like, okay, I'm going to strive for those things, but financially, I don't know how people do it. I don't know how people can afford to do what they're doing with these homes that I'm seeing. We bought this house two and a half years ago and basically there are a ton of things that I would love to fix, first of all, change, update, and we can't afford to do it all. And I feel like that's okay. Like I'm a person who does not like spending money that I don't have. So I'd rather not have all the fancy, beautiful things that I see all the time on my Instagram feed and um, and then not be in debt. <laughs> so I try to not spend a ton of money on things like that, even though I'm pretty tempted. So our house isn't perfect, and I feel like I haven't shown you guys our home because I keep waiting for this moment where it's gonna be like done. And I don't know that that moment's ever gonna happen. I just wanted to share this place that I love with you and also point out what I think are very normal flaws. Some of you, are gonna be the ones with the perfect houses. Hello. <laughs> I'm so happy you have a perfect home and I'm so happy you figured out how to do that. This isn't a place for judgment. So I'm just gonna say that right now. If you have judgy house comments, like you can just skip it. <laughs> you can skip, you know, save your fingers the energy. You don't have to judge anything here. I just wanna show you that like, yeah, I feel like we're doing great. We have a lot of mouths to feed and we're feeding them. And our kids are doing classes I never thought they'd be able to do, like gymnastics. And I'm so happy about that. And our house isn't perfect. I want you to see that people can be successful and then also not be able to afford to have these very perfect homes <laughs> that I see all over the place. So with that in mind, let's, let's get on with the Ballinger house tour. And I am gonna point out I am gonna point out flaws in my home because I'm aware of them. It doesn't mean I'm not grateful for my home. It just means that like, yeah, there's a spot that someday I would love to be able to fix. So with that being said, let's go. So this is our bedroom. That's me and Christopher's bed. Right here you will see there's some sort of like Ikea desktop that we don't know what we're doing with and Sometimes we'll pull that out and put it on top of our bed and play board games. Here's a rocking chair and behind the rocking chair there's actually a sterilizer. On my little bedside stand you can see that there's like tons of junk. I go through all this stuff all the time and I imagine there must be a better way of having a nightstand because everybody else seems to have like clean spaces. But I honestly, I don't know how I could live without any of this stuff being there for me at a moment's notice. So. It's there. I have this really nice bank of drawers from Ikea that fits perfectly right there. So this is, we have we have travel things, we have these, these two are my two drawers. This is like baby stuff and some other things. Inside our bed down here, there are drawers for like bedding. And this also has bedding. We don't have like a big linen closet. So a lot of the bedding for all the kids' beds and our bed is stored in various spots in our bedroom. One thing I wish someday we could do, if you look at this space, oh, there's Christopher's Lego castle. Cause yeah, we have Lego builds in our room. Um, if you look at this space right here, in my wildest dreams, 
I would make that like a flat wall that's a bank of storage, like a linen closet. Maybe you would have a little desk or bookshelf space. I don't know who needs this like present my doorway zone that we have here, but for me, I just see like space for storage. And I actually had a guy come and like price it out for me because I was so excited. I was like, I'm gonna do this. And it was like $15,000. And I was like, I am not gonna do that. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm being patient. I feel like we have the money to do like one home upgrade a year. This year what we did last month was we got lights in our house. So <laughs> for the past two and a half years, we've had these rooms that just get dark when it's dark. And we're like, okay, I guess it's dark now. So places like our bedroom now have these can lights. So we got lights in our bedroom, in our office space, and in our dining room and the fireplace room where we do like Christmas and stuff. To do all that, I think cost about $8,000. Like that's a ton of money and it's for something that I feel like you don't even think about. Yeah, you gotta pay a lot of money for that. So that was our big expense and that was, that's a lot. That's so much money. That's like two kids getting braces. So yeah, that's just an example of how I don't understand how people have money to do like, oh, I'm gonna have a new bathroom now. Or you watch those TV shows where they're like flipping things and they're like, oh yeah, this will only cost a couple thousand dollars. Like, at least where I live, that is not true. <laughs> this window, by the way, is like my favorite thing because it overlooks our backyard. You can't see it right now. So it overlooks our backyard and in the morning I get to see this and sometimes I get to see the kids like walking up the hill to play. Especially those moments where I'm like watching the kids walk up together to go like be in nature. It brings me so much joy. So I'm just really grateful for this window. When we bought the house, I was like, man, window, whatever, I don't care. But it's actually like one of my favorite things about this house and um, I just love it. So, hey window. From our bed, if you turn around, you see kind of like a lot of interesting shapes. This is the entrance to our master bathroom and this is Christopher's like editing space slash little office. I made something for Jacob. <gasps> he's gonna be so excited. Yeah, he's gonna see it really bad. He wants to see it really bad. He does? Do you wanna go give it to him right now? Yeah, he's gonna be happy. It's Valentine's Day. We can get all our presents. Yeah, that's really a, that's a wonderful gift to give to Jacob for Valentine's Day. Yeah, when we keep we're keeping it right here so we can get all our our, our Valentines. Okay, good plan. Good plan. This is Christopher's workspace. This is our master bathroom. This is the blanket that Luke has. Yeah, he was doing his tummy time on that earlier. Yeah. So here are a couple of little things that nobody else would ever show you because there is no need to show this sort of thing. It is real and I want you to see it. I want you to know if you have similar things like this that you are not alone. The big fancy YouTube families are the exact same as you and it's okay, it's okay. Your life doesn't have to be perfect right now. Like, life is a process, things are always changing. Um, <laughs> so here we go, okay? Underneath Christopher's desk looks like this. He has two different colors of carpet under here. There are lots of cords. It's all safe, like this is normal cord behavior, but it's there. Like, I feel like in pictures you never see the cords. I have a lot of cords in my life. This is as condensed as I can get it. We have baby monitor, we have phone charger, we have computer charger, and we have like a cordless charger thing. I don't know how people have less cords. And it's not cute. And I know there are cord organizer things. I haven't been able to make them work in my life, but I really want to, someday. So thing number two that there's no need to show you, but I'm definitely going to right now, is this monstrosity. This is the space where people get nails in their feet every time they walk to the bathroom. <laughs> and then you get hurt on that, right on here. So everyone in our home has just been taught that if you're walking into the bathroom or back into our bedroom, that's the place you get hurt. <laughs> because there are these nails, and yes, you can hammer them down, but you can't really. Like, we've tried, and it still hurts, huh, Duncan? 
Yeah. So when we moved into this house, the brownish colored carpet was all new. I guess the people who were selling the house like wanted the house to look fancy, so they put in all this new carpet. But I'm guessing that they did it kind of quickly or they were saving their money on it. And it wasn't like either the best job or the best quality or something because there are spots all over our house now where that carpet has come up and there are these little pokey nails if you walk through that zone. So one of the things we did right away when we moved into this house was we put hardwood floor in all three of the kids' bedrooms. We bought flooring for the hallway, but then could not afford to continue into actually flooring it and doing our bedroom. So we have this dream that someday we will put the same hardwood floor from the hallway into our bedroom and then maybe continue it throughout the house, but we're not there yet. So right now we have nails that we step on. <laughs> We'd also love to get flooring for our bathrooms because the bathroom floor and the kitchen are very somebody else's style that's not mine. It's not something I prefer. It works for now. Like it's at least it's not nails in our feet, so. <laughs> and right now I'm gonna tell you, I am so grateful for our bathroom. It is not my style. I have this vision for how I would love our bathroom to look, but I'm grateful for what it is. And maybe someday we'll redo the bathroom, but we're not there yet. So here is our bathroom. It feels pretty spacious, like there's a lot of space here. And there's me. Hi, me. There's stuff all over the counters. I don't know how to do that any better. <laughs> I feel like it's all very essential. And then we have this awesome bathtub that's great for the kids. Um, my nightgown, hey. And this shower. The shower door doesn't shut and open properly. So you have to do that. So it gets stuck like this and it's <laughs> so Bailey will take a shower in there and she'll be like mommy 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 I'm stuck and she gets stuck in the shower so my idea for this bathroom if I were ever to redesign it is I would want to make the shower a little bit bigger I'd see if I could get the shower to come out to like here go on carpet. yeah it would be in that carpet space and it would come out just like to like here I think just a bigger uh, no, shower here. Yeah. And then I would actually see how there's like a big space here. There's like a big tiled zone. So I would have the bathtub like maybe start here and come out this way and be like slanted, I think. I don't actually know if that would measure out properly. It's just like my vision. But I would love to have it like a sideways bathtub that sticks out more. And then I would get rid of some of this counter space. Right now, Christopher and I have like a lot of counter space. So I think I would get taller cabinets because right now they're actually kind of short. They go up to here and I feel like some bathroom cabinets now like go up to like here. I could be wrong. I'm not a designer person. Okay, so now I'll show you the one room in the house that I feel like is pretty polished. <laughs> it still, it has continuous floors with this bathroom. So the flooring I would change. But other than that, I had it in my budget to fully do this room. <laughs> we call this room the toilet room. <laughs> So it's the space in our bathroom that houses the toilet and it has a door to it. Basically, I painted the walls and I put in this artwork and here's this little like cute basket thing going on. And it's actually looked like that. I Like it's been like that for at least six months or so and it's not like cluttered and a mess now. Like I did the design and it still looks cute. <laughs> That's the room in the house I'm the most proud of. I can't like show it off to a ton of people usually because it's such an awkward <laughs> room. <laughs> but I did that. That's my thing that I did. And then Christopher and I have for the first time in our lives a walk-in style closet, so that's really cool. I feel like it could be much more efficient. It's got a bunch of different colors to it, like that wall's different than that wall, and like things are kind of messy, and there's carpet, like, it's not perfect. This is our closet space. Like, there's stuff. This is where we keep everybody's bathing suits. I found that it's a lot easier for our family if all the bathing suits just go in one zone instead of in everybody's drawers. Uh, Okay, so this is, this is your room? Yeah. Okay. Do you... <laughs> oh! 
<laughs> it's nighttime. Oh, good night, Duncan. Enjoy your bedroom. Okay. <laughs> is it is it morning time? Yeah. Good morning, Duncan. I'm glad you're awake. I got you awake. <laughs> so Duncan does actually have another bedroom, and I'll take you to it right now. Do you want to show your other bedroom? Yeah. Okay. In my other room. Yeah. Do you want to see it? Yeah, let's show us your other room. So this is our hallway. Yeah. This is where we keep our laundry. Often in baskets, but today, not in a basket. This is the baby's room in here. It's mostly Duncan's old decor with a couple little changes, and we'll go there in a second. And Bailey and Parker share this room. Their bathroom, which is like a Jack and Jill, so it, connect, it connects over here as well. And where are we now? Oh, oh. This is our room. So this is Duncan and... And Jacob's room. Jacob has his Lego table that's very organized. Oh, there's a surprise, Jacob! This is our closet back here. Yeah, Jacob has a pretty cool closet. It's got all of our games. Yes. <laughs> so we keep our games up there. This is their room. Duncan's been playing. Yeah. When Parker and Jacob shared this room, they each had a desk. So this is Parker's desk. And this is Jacob's desk. We haven't moved Parker's desk. We don't know what's to become of that. He Parker still really wants this desk. I does, I does this. This is my stretch up. That's your stretch up? Mm -hmm. Oh, very nice stretch up. Ow. Ow. Did you step on a Lego? No, I stepped on my my Mickey Mouse. My Mickey Mouse guys. Oh man. Maybe you want to clean them up really quick, put them in their Mickey Mouse bin? Yeah. Hat, 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 hat. Parker still wants this desk. It doesn't fit in his current room. This is a couch that was supposed to get covered, but it costs a lot of money to cover it, so it's gonna be red. This is a really cute window seat, but it's broken. Like, I don't know what happened, but it, it broke, and we haven't fixed it. And there are blankets in it right now. We'll get around to fixing it someday soon, I hope. I don't know, I asked Christopher about it. There's always something breaking in our house. We have a lot of kids. Speaking of, let me show you Duncan's bed and what he did during his nap time the other day. He has a whole bedding set, it's just not on right now. And then, he did this. I dropped a big line. Wait, 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 wait. Are you supposed to draw big circles on your wall? No. No. We learned a lesson that day. Yeah. I did this when I was awake in my bed this whole time ago. But never again, right? Yeah. Right. We've been planning on teaching Duncan about the magic eraser and having and, him help and, clean that up. And, and we got stories on there. Yeah. This is Boopus. This is... Fish. That's a good book, huh? Yeah. And then up here is Jacob's bed, and he's done a whole like Harry Potter theme. It's pretty cool up there. And then the kids have this Jack and Jill style bathroom. These mirrors came with the house. I think it's really cool that the kids have this like really big sink and counter area. It's messy. Drawers are open. It's not how I want it to look, but it is what it is right now. It's okay. So they have this style like shower and bath. I've been trying to get them to use this shower and bath, but they really prefer our bathtub and our shower. So they're often in there, though I am hoping pretty soon they're gonna transition to like using this bathtub and the shower more often. Bailey and Parker's room. Here is Bailey's zone. She has like a Harry Potter bedding thing going on. Yeah. And then Parker. Parker's bed is like really a lot of fun up here. Hi huh, buddy. Okay, be safe. He has a lot of very large stuffed animals and yes. Jojo theme and Spider-Man theme too, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so he's got Spider-Man, Jojo. Oh, look at Bobo and Spider-Man. 
<laughs> yeah, so it's um, so it's a picture of Jojo, and then Spider-Man's holding Bobo, and Bobo's holding a lipstick to put on Jojo's lipstick. So Bobo's putting on and Jojo's I lipstick. Here, so don't worry. And then they have like toys here, and this this desk. <laughs> it's a really <laughs> convenient workspace. <laughs> um, so yeah, there's some mess here. Got to work on that. This desk is supposed to be clean and it's supposed to go here. But the kids like to pull out the trundle bed feature a lot, which is right there. And when they do that, they have to move everything over to this space to make space for this bed this is this isn't drawers this is like a pretend so that bed comes out and then jacob will come in here sometimes and they'll have like fun slumber parties like if duncan or jacob go to grandma's house or like spend the night at a friend's or family's or whatever the other kid will come from the jacob duncan room and sleep in here with bailey and parker or if like bailey has a friend spend the night or something or if grandma spends the night like they're welcome to sleep in the trundle zone. So it kind of gets pulled out and used a lot. The kids really like sharing rooms and they like being together. So when a kid is alone in a room, they get really upset. Oh, and here's that nice wood flooring. Here it is in the baby's room. In my room. Yeah, such pretty floors. So the baby's room looks like this. We've got a big stack of blankets going on right now. He's a very spitty baby, so we're kind of always rotating blankets. It looks like, I don't know, Christopher must have set this up for him to puke on too, but. He actually does sleep in his crib now in the nights, but otherwise doesn't spend a lot of time in here. So it kind of becomes a catch-all room where we put things that like aren't really in play yet or that are going, like things like, here I'll show you. He's got a bin right here. This is three to six months clothing. So those are all like the hand-me-downs from our kids and Colleen gave us some things from Flynn and I've been storing them and having them ready for when Luke's the right size for them and he's growing into them right now. So I had those out and I was sorting them into his drawers and stuff. Things end up getting stored here a lot just because we're not using this room a ton. We prefer using the rocking chair in our bedroom and then he really only sleeps in here at night. Here's our staircase. We have a really pretty living room space that I'm very grateful for. Um, the kids have toys over in that corner there, and we have a piano that was my grandma's. And I think it's it's over 75 years old, and it's a, it's a small piano. Like, it's an upright, but it's actually even shorter than most uprights. Here's our dining room. The cabinet behind the kids right now is, like, our homeschool stuff, and they're making Valentine's at the moment. Hi, huh, guys. And then we have this little cabinet that I put a changing pad on and it's been a changing table pretty much since we moved in because it's just the perfect size for a changing pad and we used to use it with Duncan and now we use it with the baby. And you can see even over here this carpet is coming up so this is another danger zone. So this is the entrance to our home so naturally we'd have like a giant unpainted drywall patch and then this zone. <laughs> so this is where we keep all of our shoes. There's a really nice concept where we each have a bin, see the bins? And it's all sorted nicely. But the like perfectly sortedness happens like 5% of the time. Like they get all switched and mixed up and messy very quickly. And then we also have shoes all over our house still, like <laughs> even with the files here. So I'm trying to come up with a fun solution for that. I really like the idea of shoes near the front of the house. When the shoes are stored in bedrooms, I feel like they get lost more easily and the kids are harder to get out of the house. Like when you have a bunch of very small children, it's hard to get them out of the house. And you really want things like shoes and socks like very close by. And let's be real, I even walked out of the door without those things and had to be like, oh yeah, I need shoes. Be a human, Jessica. <laughs> I would love to have like a bank of something here, like build something out. I don't know how to do it because it's, this triangle shape and if I do drawers, like the drawers will bump into each other. But I think they have things that like circle and I don't know, I'm sure there's something. It's not my priority fix. Like there are other things around the house, like the paint patches and the nails sticking out <laughs> that I wanna fix first. <laughs> Another huge home improvement that we did this year was getting these curtain things. We have this great living room, dining room space that also has this gorgeous window and the only problem with it has been that the window 
gets the sun and there, there's there been times in the morning where we like can't even be in this room because the sun comes through the window and it's so hot and we're like doing that. <laughs> Another one of our big fixes this year was to get curtains in this room. So you'll see now, just in this room, we got a big curtain for the living room. To match it, we have curtains on all the windows in this living room. They're all electric because I wanted them all to match and the big one kind of needed to be electric. When we weighed all of our options, this was the best way to go. But again, very expensive. So this was like $4,000. That's a lot of money. So one room, curtains, $4,000. That's like my whole budget. I feel like when people flip houses, that's like the whole budget for the whole house. It's just, it's a lot of money. There's a reality that these things costs a lot of money and we can't do it all at once. It's just not gonna happen. Now we have curtains. I'm really excited about that. They're electric, it's really cool. They function well. We can do our school in the living room in the morning, which is basically the reason I wanted it was because um, I wanted to be able to do reading lessons and stuff while cuddled up and cozy on the couch. And I wanted the kids to be able to play in the morning and they really couldn't because the window brought in so much light and it was difficult to get a good cover for it. So the good news is we've done something really well that hopefully will like for many, many years. I can close the curtain with a thing like that. Isn't that cool, Duncan? Ooh, then I push the button and it opens. Yay! This is also one of the rooms that got lights put into it. This room didn't have lights before, so it was very bright in the morning and then very dark at night. I forgot to mention earlier, all of the rooms that got lights put into them needed drywall work, which came with the whole like package of when we got the lighting put in, but it did not come with painting the rooms. So now we have all these like drywall patches. This isn't an optical illusion. Like these walls are actually big patchy spaces in our house. So we're hoping to get all these spaces painted, but again, like what a snowball of things. It's like you fix one thing that you're like, okay, I'm just gonna put lights in, like we just really need this. And then it, it turns into like, okay, well then we're gonna need to drywall and then we're gonna need to paint and then it just turns into more and more things and it's, it's costly. This is our office space. We got lots of great bookshelves because I'm a total book nerd. This is where I do Twitch streams. This is where we do like business things. It has a nice window out to our backyard and it has original curtains that came with the house. So then from the office, we have a downstairs bathroom with a little potty in it. And this room's actually kind of nice too. There's stuff that's kind of outdated like these cabinets and um, like the way it comes over this ledge here, but I kind of like that, like I'm grateful that's there. But I did get this rug, which I think is pretty, and I painted the walls. And I really like this little window, so that's that. And here's our laundry room, which I'm very grateful to have. And it has, this came with the house, like, I don't know why it looks so crusty, because it's not mold. Like there's a speckling that they seem to have done on purpose but it just kind of looks like mold to me. Like, doesn't that look like mold? So that's like laundry represent. <laughs> I'm fine with it, <laughs> whatever. Okay, and then down this way, we have our fireplace room. This is where we play a lot of games. I've worked a lot on this room and like trying to get all the stuff right about it. It's kind of messy right now. There's a lot of there's a lot of baby stuff scattered. I didn't clean anything up for this video. It just is exactly how we lived it today. I really like this chair and like the pillows and I want to do something with this Ballinger family sign up here. I didn't actually want it to be above the mantle, but it's here for now. This painting isn't usually here either. I just somehow got here one day, I don't know. Well, we got a balloon. <laughs> one thing I really wanted was to have that Ballinger family sign above these pictures and then to add Luke and to kind of do this differently, like a little lower, a little bit more, but that's that for Mommy, now. We need this for Catherine. Let's see. Oh my so goodness. So it's two doggies and a unicorn. <gasps> She's gonna love that. And this lamp here used to be the only light source in the room, but we got these lights installed, which also meant <laughs> drywall. So this is another room that will have to be repainted. Um, but I'm so glad we have lights in here now. Like really, our house was so dark all of the time. The office that I just showed you had no light at all, nothing. Not even a lamp, just 
plunged into darkness. This is our kitchen. Right above the refrigerator, when we moved in, there was a cabinet. The refrigerator did not fit, so we ripped the cabinet out, fully believing that we were going to quickly remodel our kitchen. It's been two and a half years, and we've had this patch above our refrigerator, and it is what it is. <laughs> Hopefully, we will be getting like everything painted soon because we have that drywall stuff. We keep hoping that at some point we'll remodel the kitchen, but we don't really know what we're gonna do with it. We got this little kitchen island that's portable that we really are grateful for and enjoy. Um, the kitchen is functional, it works. Uh, so it's not the priority. Like, again, the nails are the priority. <laughs> I'll show you the ceiling here also needs to be painted. So they, they did all the drywall work to install these lights. Here's the flooring, which I've never liked. This is not my style. It's a little much. <laughs> it works. It's a great kitchen. I'm so grateful for it. I love our dishwasher. Well, that's that. We have to like scrape our dishes, but we don't have to like fully rinse them off. And I just feel like I can do the dishes so much faster than I ever could before. When Bailey and Jacob were both little, we hand washed all of our dishes and it would take us like an hour every night and it was so hard. So like to be able to quickly do our dishes with such a large family, I'm just like so grateful for it. Every single time I do our dishes, I'm like, yes. <laughs> but that's pretty much the house. That's, that's the thing. That's all of it. It's more of a home tour than a house tour because this is our home. It's lived in, it, it needs changes and updates. It's not a fancy Instagram house. Um, we've got an amazing backyard that the kids get to play in and enjoy nature and find little critters. And I love that. And we have our chickens, like we have a space for chickens. That is so cool. Um, and we love our chickens and we love our bunny and our guinea pig. And we just are very happy here. But I hope that this shows you that it's normal to have a messy home, to have an unfinished home, to have an imperfect home, and it's okay, and it's, it's wonderful. It's a home, enjoy your home. It's meant to be lived in, and it doesn't have to be perfect. <laughs> and I don't know how other ones look so perfect. I don't know if they are perfect or not, but ours is not, and that is totally okay. And I'm just grateful for the people that we have in it no matter where we live. <laughs>